What's up, Facebook world? It's your girl, Mindy C, coming at you on Monday night. Yes, I'm going to get these days correct for once. So my name's Mindy C. I'm from Michigan. If you're live with me, you'll see that red live stream box right up in the corner there. And um, you can mark down one or two if you missed me. Hi, hello, how are you doing? And if you're on the replay, that's okay. You can mark replay, I miss you. Whatever you want. I am making cheesy chicken, cheesy Cajun chicken. Cheesy Cajun chicken. That's what I'm making. So fairly easy, fairly easy. Hey, Missy, how are you doing? Hey, Peggy, nice to see you. So I'm cooking one pound of bacon, and I am cooking it at a low heat to render that fat. So I don't want my bacon like too crispy. I want it more meatier for this dish. So there we go. I already started that bacon up. And for the chicken, I found these pre-sliced, pre-cooked chicken pieces, sausage. They are sliced chicken sausage from, I bought them at Meyer, my grocery store, called Holmes Smokehouse. So these have one carb for two ounces. So there are 12 ounces in here, so I'm gonna make four servings. So each person's gonna get three ounces of chicken, and each person's going to get four ounces of bacon. Yum! So we're, I'm just gonna combine it since this chicken is already cooked. I'm just gonna throw it in here just for a few minutes, just to brown it up a little bit. And then um, I'm gonna take the meat out and then we're gonna start with the veggie parts. So super duper easy, a pound of bacon, cook that, chop it up and cook it on a low heat and then get your favorite um, chicken sausage. I found this brand, again, it's called Home Smokehouse from my local grocery store. I just seen it there, it was already sliced. So one card for two ounces, I'm gonna use three ounces per person. So that's gonna be about one and a half carbs that are coming from the meat. So no carbs in the bacon, yay. So I'm just warming that sausage up with that bacon, getting that bacon grease all in there, get it all flavorful, yummy, yummy, yummy. Cheesy, cheesy Cajun chicken tonight, you guys. Nice to see you, thanks for tuning in. On a Monday night, I get to finally have dinner early enough, so. It's 6 o'clock here in Michigan. I don't know where everybody's at. Let me know where you're coming in from. I love to see where everybody's coming in from. I get Florida's. I get Nova Scotia's. Hi from New Jersey. Nice to see you, Colleen. Hey, Mar Margaret. How are you doing? Hey, Simone. Nice to see you. All right. So there we go. I'm not going to cook it. I don't have to cook it very long because the chicken just want to heat it up. So I cooked a pound of bacon and and a low heat so my bacon was still meaty and not crispy so if you do like crispy bacon you can cook your bacon how you like it hey denise how are you doing from texas nice to see you on here hey lynn nice to see you i am making cheesy cajun chicken tonight so rice cauliflower um some bell peppers some cheese, some tomatoes, some Cajun seasoning, and that will be what is for dinner. And I want to use this bacon grease in here, so I'm going to leave this bacon grease right in the pan. I might scoop out a little bit. I don't know. I might. That's going to flavor that cauliflower rice that I got. So there we go. We got 12 ounces of chicken sausage and one pound of bacon cooked on a low heat so it's still nice and meaty for me and there we go I'm gonna take out a little bit of this bacon grease hold on one second let me get the dump pan all right I'm just gonna pour a little bit out because I'm gonna leave about four tablespoons of bacon grease in there that'll work let me get a towel and wipe off the bottom of that pan all right so still on a low heat, I got about four tablespoons of the bacon grease left in there. And I am going to add four cups of rice cauliflower. So I riced this myself. I took a whole head of cauliflower and I put it in the food processor to give myself some um, rice cauliflower. So we're just going to put, so there's four cups. So each person's going to get one cup of cauliflower. 
so when it all comes together. Okay, so we're just going to pour that milk rice cauliflower right in to the drink. And we're going to cook this in Swedish around a little bit. There we go. Get that bacon grease all on that rice cauliflower. There we go. Let that cook for a second. And then we also got, I've got um, some bell peppers. Um, I've got some, hey Michelle, how are you doing? Um, I've got some green onions, I've got some cheddar cheese, I got some mozzarella cheese, and I've got some Cajun seasoning. So I bought some Cajun seasoning. I bought the Slap Ya Mama Cajun seasoning and I tried it. It's a little salty, so I don't really want to cook with this as a seasoning. I just want to sprinkle this maybe on some meat or something. Oh yeah, and you need a can of Rotel tomatoes. So super duper easy. Bacon, chicken sausage, rice cauliflower. Um, some, I've got a quarter cup of fresh jalapenos there. So these are well, these ones aren't very hot. So I already tried these too. Make sure I didn't uh, spice up my food too much. So there we go. We're just gonna swish that rice cauliflower around. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit, and I'm just gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So I just took a half of a red, yellow, and orange bell pepper, and I chopped it up. So that's uh, that's probably about. I would say close to a cup, a cup of peppers. So not very much. I'm going to throw those right in there, right into the mix. We're going to cook it all in one skillet. I've also got a half cup of green onions chopped up. So that's going in. And also we've got our jalapenos. That's going in. Let me get a spoon out. Break those jalapenos, get everything in there. There you go. Okay. All right, so next we've got the cheese and the tomatoes. So let's cook up the vegetables a little bit. Hey Robin, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Um, thank you, Diane. Thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. So tonight I'm just making a, a meal that I made up myself. Rice cauliflower, bell peppers, green onions, some chicken sausage, some bacon, um, some Rotel tomatoes, some cheese, and some Cajun seasoning. So that's all it is. So broken down, you'll get four ounces of bacon, three ounces of chicken, and then you would use about four tablespoons of bell peppers and one cup of bro or cauliflower and two tablespoons of green onion and about a teaspoon of um, jalapenos and a quarter cup each of the cheddar and the mozzarella and a couple tablespoons of tomatoes. So that's how you would break it down. So I got, in mine, I'm making four servings, so I'll have a couple extra left over for lunches tomorrow or the next day. So I'm making four servings here. So each serving, I've got four cups of Rice cauliflower, I've got about one cup of chopped bell peppers, half cup of green onions, and about a quarter cup of fresh jalapenos. So that is going, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more. Hey Chris, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey Sherry, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey Monica, how are you doing? Hey Crystal, nice to see you on here. So if you're just tuning in with me, I'm making cheesy chicken, cheesy Cajun chicken. I, I'll get it right. I'll get it right. So super duper easy, you guys. I've got the vegetables going right now, and I just took these. I found these um, chicken sausages. They were already cut. They came in a package at my local grocery store, already cooked and everything. So they've got chicken sausages all over the place. So I used, it's a 12 ounce package, and I used one pound of bacon that I mixed in there. So bacon, bacon and chicken. So bacon and chicken, and then I've got rice cauliflower that I put about four tablespoons of the bacon grease in there to saute the vegetables. And just want to cook them, and you can cook them to your liking. It doesn't cook long for rice cauliflower, but if you like your vegetables a little bit crunchier, then obviously you're not going to cook it very long. Hey, Kathy, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Erin, nice to see you on here. Hey, Leah, nice to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Cheesy Cajun chicken tonight with bacon. I love bacon. Bacon is one of my favorites. If you don't know me and you're just tuning in with me for the first time, I love bacon. 
I love everything about bacon. All right, so that looks pretty good right here. So I'm gonna I'm going to pour the whole can of Rotel tomatoes. So Rotel tomatoes have about three carbs, and there's two and a half servings in here. So there's uh, three, six, um, about eight to nine carbs for the whole can. So that's going to be divided into four. So about two carbs are coming from the tomatoes and then your cauliflower, rice cauliflower, and your vegetables. So you're probably looking at about six to seven carbs per serving on this. Not very high at all. So there we go. Rice cauliflower, bell peppers, and then we've got some jalapenos. And again, if you don't like the spiciness of it, then, you know, don't put the jalapenos in there or try them to see if they're hot. And now I'm going to sprinkle some Cajun seasoning in here. Um, not too much, just enough. This one's not very salty. I get it at Sam's Club. It's by Tones. I always buy the big containers of spices. It's my favorite. And then we're just going to put a cup of cheddar cheese in there like that about a cup of that a little extra and one cup of mozzarella that's going in so this is gonna this is gonna melt all together so i'm gonna get a different spoon so we can stir it up hey mary how are you doing hey Chamberly, nice to see you hey sandra hey kayla hey kathy um slap your mama yeah this is, I got it up north. You know all those little little touristy shops we got up north here in Michigan? Um, I'm sure they got little shops all over the place. But this is Slap Your Mama Cajun Seasoning, but it's salty. So, you, you know, it's not something that I want to cook with because I don't want my food to turn out salty. Maybe a sprinkle on my meat will be fine. But this Tones isn't that salty, so that's why I'm using this, this one right here. So super duper easy. I got chicken, I got bacon, I've got rice cauliflower, bell peppers, and some jalapenos, some green onions. Super duper easy. All in one skillet and I'm just mixing everything together and then I'm going to incorporate the meat back in to my cheesy <coughs> chicken. Cajun chicken. Cheesy Cajun chicken. <laughs> Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Hey, Andrea, nice to see you. Hey, Lois from Mansfield, nice to see you on here. Super duper easy dinner tonight, just like a chicken Cajun. And you can spice up your foods afterwards, too, if you don't know how much Cajun to put in. Um, you can sprinkle it on your food, too. So you don't have to put it in as a whole recipe. Um, I am actually going to add in a little more Cajun season in there and then we are going to add back in the meat, the chicken sausage, pre-cooked chicken sausage and then I just took one pound of bacon and I chopped it up and I cooked it up. So there we go. We've got a cheesy chicken Cajun casserole dish tonight. All in one skillet you guys except for the the measurements that I use there on the side in the bowls, but that is it. And then you're gonna, you could probably get more than four servings out of this if you really, really wanted to stretch it a little bit. Um, so you know you don't have to, but everything is um, divided up for four servings in this, and this is quite a large pot, so I could probably get a good six servings out of it if I wanted to, depending on how much I'm gonna eat, how much I feel like eating. And that is it. Holy moly. Let me turn that down a little bit. And let me scoop some of this goodness right up onto this plate. So y'all can see this. Super duper easy. Chicken sausage, bacon, bell peppers, onions, some jalapenos, some Rotel tomatoes. And that is it. That is what we are having for dinner right there. Cheesy Cajun chicken for dinners tonight, you guys. That's what I got. So there you go. All right. Oh, my goodness. I'm missing. Hey, Shannon. How are you doing? Hey, Nancy. Hey, Janice. Um, there's a good season slap. That's a good season to slap your mama. Yeah, I like it, but it's just a little bit salty. So um, I'm just going to sprinkle it on my meat. There we go. Let me turn that off right there. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Leah. Um, and... 
Can you print? I will, yeah, I will definitely, it might take me a couple days to get the recipe, but I usually get the recipe up. So I usually notify you in the comments if you, if you mark down one or two or whatever. But there's what's for dinner, you guys. Cheesy chicken, Ke God dang it. Cheesy Cajun chicken. <laughs> there we go. I named it, but I can't say it. And that's all I got for you. Um, Montreal, Canada. Nice to see you, Reno. Nice to see you on here. Hey, Melody. How are you doing? Hey, Susan. But that's all I got for you guys tonight. So I'm going to finally enjoy my dinner for an early dinner for one time in a week. So that's good. So um, I hope you guys are all having a great Monday night. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.